We start tonight with news that the Office of Admissions is breaking state and federal law. Ashley McGetrick has been following this story and has more. Ashley. Sky, tour guides in the Office of Admissions have long hours of training like many other on-campus jobs. But this year, tour guides aren't being paid for 16 hours of training. And that is against North Carolina and federal law. It is arguably one of the most coveted and definitely the most competitive student job on campus. I've sometimes said that it's harder to become a guide than it is to get into Elon. <laughs> With an acceptance rate of less than 10 percent, becoming a tour guide on campus isn't easy. It also isn't easy to stay one with an annual required training. This year, guides are required to attend 16 hours of training sessions during the last weekend of August. Vice President of Admissions, Greg Zeiser. So it's a pretty comprehensive two-day experience and it's, it's required for students unless they're studying abroad because training is so important. Even if you've been a guide for you know, several semesters, you have to make sure that you attend um, and, and are apprised of, of what's going on. The catch? The training session is unpaid. An email sent to all tour guides regarding the training session explicitly says, quote, you will not be paid for training this year since it is 16 hours and over two days. This is a change from previous semesters when the training lasted about six hours. According to both North Carolina and federal labor laws, this is illegal. In order for a training session to be unpaid, it must meet all four of these requirements. It occurs outside regular working hours. Attendance is voluntary. The meetings are not directly related to the employee's job. And the employee is not doing anything productive during the training. Judging by what you're telling us, we only, that training situation only meets one, maybe two of the criteria. Mm -hmm. So how is that possible? That's a good question and one that I'd have to look at. I was not aware um, of that, but you know, typically speaking, something that is brought to my attention I would explore with um, the coordinators for the event. The email also tells tour guides, quote, it is mandatory to work and if you cannot work training, you will not be working this fall. The federal labor law considers trainings to be involuntary, quote, if the employee is given to understand or led to believe that his present working conditions or the continuance of his employment would be adversely affected by non-attendance. Zeiser so said the training will definitely for, not you know, be canceled, semesters. but he will you look further into sure the situation. And, and are apprised of, of what's going on. Right, and it shows. They definitely are informed. I see enough of them coming out of the... the situation is to pay the tour guides for their time. If that happens, then the issue will be forgotten. But if the tour guides continue with unpaid training, legal action could be taken against the university. I'm Ashton Getrick, Sky Mjot, back to you.